Hi, Hiram here. If you've watched my old videos on my other channel and this one, you know that my favorite burner is the Trangia. As I say it, Trangia, I know other people call it Tranger or something else, but Trangia burner, the mini, along with the Mojo Pot Stand. Uh, anyway, you know that this is the ones that I like to carry with me most of the time. I've tried some other combinations to cut down on the weight instead of the Mojo. I got the, oops, I got the ever new titanium cross stand. Piece of gear made out of titanium, weighs very little. Tried that on here. I'll leave a link to the lab, to the video that I did on this down below. <clears throat> anyway, I did a test with this using the pot stand right side up and upside down because it makes a difference as far as the distance from the burners to the bottom of the pot. In one case, if I put it on like that, it doesn't leave me very much room from the burners up to the bottom of the pot. But then I flipped it over like so and used that and got a little bit quicker of a boil time. I've had, <clears throat> excuse me, I've had lots and lots of people after me to try the ever new titanium burner which is something that's similar to the Trangia. I finally got a, um, a bid on eBay for what I thought was fairly cheap. I think it was, what, uh, $33 plus shipping. I've seen these things go, just this by itself, go anywhere from $69, $70, Add in the pot stand, and it goes up to like $94, $95. So... I already had this. This cost me $14. And then I got this for $33. So I figured I'd buy one and give it a try. <coughs> and this is what it looks like. Some interesting uh, design things to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I took some pictures earlier, and I'll try putting them up here. But if you look down inside, there are markings, marking... Uh, 60 milliliters and 30 milliliters, which is the equivalent of two fluid ounces and one fluid ounce of fluid in there. So it's already got the markings in there, which <coughs> is one thing on this that is, it isn't marked inside, but usually you keep your alcohol in here. That's one of the downfalls of this. With this, you have to burn off the alcohol all the time. You can't pack this up with alcohol in it like you can the Trangia. So every time you use this, you got to try to cut it close so you don't waste alcohol. So that's one thing that I kind of wish would be different. The other thing with this, if you use this pot stand with it, there's no way to simmer. Well, with the Mojo, I can use the simmering that comes with the Trangia. If I use this on the Trangia, I also could not simmer. So this is kind of... If you're going to just boil water, this is a great way to do it. Now as far as weight, this thing, the combination of both of them here, weighs 1.81 ounces, or about 51.4 grams. The Trangia with the Mojo Pot Stand weighs a whopping uh, 6.1 ounces, or 174 grams. So as far as weight goes, if you're one of those gram weenies, then this would be the hit for you. I'll leave dimensions down below uh, as far as sizes and stuff. The other thing with this is the holes on this are on two levels, a lower level and a higher level. Let's see, I think I said with this pot stand on, the distance from these inner upper holes is only about 5 eighths of an inch or about 15.9 millimeters. The distance from the outside ring outside holes is 1.8 or 1 inch 1 eighth of an inch 1 and 1 eighth of an inch sorry it's getting warm in here uh, 1 and 1 eighth of an inch or about 28.8 millimeters. The holes on the Trangia there are what did I say? There's 24 holes on the Trangia, and on this, the inner ring is 8 holes, and the outer ring is 16 holes. So, between that, 
When you put it on the stand, the Trans-G on a stand like the Mojo pot stand, you try to go for a one inch sweet spot, the distance between the bottom of the pot and the top of the burner. On this one, it kind of like averages it out. Well, I haven't burned this yet, so that's what we'll be doing now. But I am curious to see if these holes actually burn when the outside holes are lit. What I'm going to do here is a boil test using the regular Boy Scout type pot, two cups of water. I'll go get my water prepped. I'll put two ounces of two fluid ounces of methanol in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I got my water prepped. Hopefully, I can get this going before it goes up any higher. I've got methanol in this up to the two fluid ounce line. Now the thing is, I kept pouring it in up to the line and it just wicked up on the inside. There's supposed to be fiberglass wicking on the inside of this. Uh, I should have measured it out. I'll have to try that later on just to see where it is actually. And I'll try lightness. Unlike the Trangia, there's no places here to put alcohol to help light it. So that's lit. Let me put on the pot stand without putting it out. Okay, let's wait until the jets actually start going. Hopefully you can see that on here. Like I said, I filled this up to the uh, two fluid ounce mark and it kept getting soaked up into the wicking of the, uh, the burner. So I'll have to try another test sometime where I actually measure the weight and see what this is doing. Okay, the bottom burners are lit. I've got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 122 degrees. That's fairly fast. Uh, I think I said before I'm not sure that those inner holes are lit. Looking at it from this side, it looks like most of the flame, or all of the flame rather, is coming out from these outside holes. I don't see flames from the inner ones. I'd have to look from up at the top down just to make sure. Those inner holes might be like a primer, a uh, primer burner. So anyway, the temperature, I forgot to mention that the room temperature is, uh, what, I can't see it from here, 81 degrees. The humidity is 75% wet. Uh, I prefer winter camping just for this reason. So let's see where this goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes 40 seconds. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature 81, uh, came to a full boil in 5 minutes 40 seconds. Let's see how long it goes now until run out where I, I filled it up to the 2 fluid ounce mark. So let's see how long it goes. Okay, now we're going. <clears throat> now the top holes are burning, the bottom holes have gone out, still burning. Boy. This is something else. Still burning. Okay, let's call it out at 8.15. 8.15. I mean, no, 18.15. What am I saying? So that was two cups of water. Came to a boil in 5 minutes 40 seconds starting at 60 degrees and continued to burn until 18 minutes 15 seconds. So that's 13 minutes past boiling and this is supposedly on 2 fluid ounces. I'm really going to have to check that. If that, if that was really just 2 fluid ounces that's something else. Uh, what I want to do now is I took a weight on this before I put the alcohol in and it's burned out. It just burned out on this thing, which is what you got to do on this since there's no uh, cap or anything. I'll weigh it again after it's cooled off just to see if there's like a residual alcohol or something in this wicking. 
And what I'll do maybe for another test is uh, measure out two fluid ounces and see where it goes. So just because this is fast and really burns long doesn't mean that it's going to be my new favorite burner. I mean, I have an open mind on it. But this was in, when I did the test with the uh, Trangia and this pot stand, the temperature was like 60 degrees. So that's like, that. well not like, but that's 20 degrees difference just in the ambient temperature. That makes a big difference. Be interesting to see what this does in the winter in the cold and stuff. So that's my new ever new titanium alcohol stove with the cross stand that I had from before. Again, 